So now that we have the ability to crop any given image, we can crop it out just like that. And we have all this base 64 stuff. Now what it's time to do is actually give us a preview of what that crop is gonna be, like the actual area inside of here. Um, and then what we wanna do is turn that into an actual file that we could upload. So it's not gonna be base 64 anymore, but it will be an actual file, or we could actually download it into its form, which would be an image. And we're gonna do all of this using what's called a canvas and several functions that we already have created for you. Those are all right here. They're on our blog and we intend to have more functions like this that will help you with images and files in general with JavaScript. In some cases, we'll give examples like this video or even right there on that blog post. Um, so if you go there, you'll see all of the different functions that we have that we also have created into a one file um, that's right here. So all of this stuff is absolutely on the GitHub for try React JS. Um, and you'll be able to find all of those things there. So you're gonna wanna pause the video and either create this file as well, make sure you have the export functions. Um, but again, if you look at this right here, base64 string to file, we've got base64 string to file. Literally the exact same thing, except it has the export feature there. So you're gonna wanna pause now, go get all those files or all of that code and bring it over to a file itself. So I'm assuming that you have already paused, you got all of these functions in a file and they're all ready to be exported. So what I'm gonna do in my image and data crop method here is I want to import all of them. But the first one I'm gonna import is just this image 64 to cam canvas ref. And the reason for that is that I wanna just go ahead and show you how to take any sort of image data right, so the image 64 data that we've already seen, this read data as URL stuff, we wanna take that data and put it into a canvas. And for us, we want it to just preview the cropped image, right? So we wanna preview it based off of this pixel crop. And if, it, if you actually look at that function itself, we have a canvas reference, which we haven't created yet, but the base 64 image, that's this, and then the pixel crop, that's this. So that's two things that we've already done. The only thing that we haven't done is create this canvas reference. And of course, if you don't have React, this is probably not gonna work for you, so it's gonna be maybe a little confusing. But for those of us who are using React, we have to we can ignore this create element. But we wanna create an HTML element called a canvas, right? So down here inside of our div tag for that image source, remember, uh, IMG source is in base64, which you could reverse engineer to figure out what it is, but it's all coming from that reader, right? So it's the result from that. So that reader turns it into that base64 stuff and we'll, we're able to use it. So I actually wanna put my canvas in here and I'll just put a break tag and then do a preview canvas crop. And we'll cl close that off. And then I'll just put canvas here. Okay, so that is an HTML element, Canvas. You can use it for all sorts of things like drawing. So what I'm about to do can be used for drawing as well. So if you drew something in this Canvas, you'd be able to use some of these methods to download those as images as well. Okay, so I've got my Canvas here and what I wanna do is use this as a reference. So that means in my constructor, I wanna go ahead and say this dot, well, image preview Canvas equals to well, react.createRef, right? So I'm just creating a reference to that canvas. And all I do here is do this, I create uh, this that ref is equal to that reference that I created. So I could call this canvas ref. That probably makes a little bit more sense. Image preview canvas ref. Okay, so now that we've got this reference, I can use it inside of that method, right? So that method was asking for that canvas reference. So where am I gonna call it? And I'm gonna call it in this handle crop complete. Now, why is that? We've got this pixel crop, that is why. So first and foremost, what is our canvas? We'll go ahead and say canvas ref equals to, well, this dot canvas, or not image.64, but rather it's the one that we just created, image preview canvas rep dot current, because of how we created that reference, we wanna use current. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the pixel crop. 
And then we finally just need the image 64, which we should know is the image source. So, so that original image source, it's the original image because we're just gonna be displaying the crop based off of that original image. So it's in our state. So we just can go ahead and say const image source equals to this.state. So we now have the three things needed to be able to do this image 64 to canvas ref. So all I can do is come back down here and we call it. So again, first thing, canvas ref, then the actual base 64 image. Oops, we need to put some curly brackets around there or the braces around it. And then final, finally, our pixel crop. Okay, so this method was absolutely built specifically to do all the things I just did. But the main thing here is we have some canvas, we grab some base 64 data, and then we crop that same exact data or that same image, which is gonna be the original image. We're gonna crop it down so our canvas actually fits with the crop and not the original image, right? So we don't actually need to display the original image in a canvas per se. I mean, you could do it, um, but I, I don't need to. What I need to display is just the crop. And that's what this is doing. We've already showed you how to display the image otherwise. And that's it. That's all I actually have to do to, to display the cropped image. It already is in there with the canvas. And since we've referenced the canvas, all of this stuff is, is gonna update as needed. So let's take a look, all right? So I come in here and I grab an image that, well, is definitely visible so I can see what it is. Go ahead and open that up. Um, I don't actually have a crop yet, so I haven't changed or done anything on this crop. So if I select a crop now, there it is. And if I drag it around, it's showing me that crop and it's updating as needed. Uh, obviously all the things are being console logged. I still have that data in there being console logged as well, but we now have that image showing up in the canvas. It's another way to just show that preview, right? Like if I close this out, it's just another way to show what's in this box. But for us on a technical level though, what it's actually doing is, is it's building the basis to not only show that crop, but then to turn it into a downloadable file or an uploadable file. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got that, how do I actually create a downloadable file? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a button right underneath this. So I'll say button and we'll say download. All I'm gonna do here is download this actual button. So what I wanna do then is say handle button download or handle download click. Okay, and that takes in an event by default and we'll just do event.prevent default there. Okay, so naturally we just put it on click event here, this.handle download click. Okay, so so this right here is going to grab some of the same data, right? So let's just let's just grab this right here, and we've got some of the same data. Okay, um, and now what we need to do is look at some of these other methods. First of all, extract image file extension from base sixty four. Essentially, is this a PNG image or is it a JPEG image? Like the original one. What what is that? And that's what I want to grab. So I, I definitely want to import that. And this is useful for grabbing the file name. So whatever the file name is, this is how I'm gonna grab it. The extension that is. So I wanna be able to grab the extension. So we'll just do const and file extension equals to that file extension from base64. And we already have the base64 from that state. There it is right there. So all that's gonna do is send back like PNG or JPEG, that's it. So that also means that I can create a file name then. So file name equals to, well, let's just say preview file and then plus, well, the file extension. But of course I need to add the dot in here. So I now have, you know, my file name. Now, of course I could, I could do this based off of another input. You could, you could write out your own file name. You could do it off of dates. You can do off of all sorts of things. But the important part here is we have our extension, we have our file name, and that's coming from that basic method there. Not a huge deal here. So the next thing is that we have two other options now, and one of them is to download, one is to create an image or a file that we would end up uploading. So I'm gonna show you both of them, right? So like the first one is file to be uploaded. 
So file to be uploaded is this base64 string to file. It's sort of going in the reverse of what we've done. It's going in reverse of this, right? Uh, but now it's gonna be going off of the cropped image. It's not gonna be going just based off of the file image, which I still have to do. I haven't done the crop image portion just yet um, because I'm just kind of setting the stage for it essentially. So we're gonna import that. I'm gonna just bring it in here and let's let's uh let's put it into alphabetical order for imports just so it's a little easier to read and it's also directly related to how they are in our javascript file there and then i also d downloaded the other one okay so i've got my base 64 string to file so this is where i do const um, my new cropped file equals to base 64 string to the file and notice it takes in two arguments the actual base 64 string which I have one, that's the image source, and then the file name, which I also have, right? So right here, this is just that original file. I actually don't have the crop file here just yet. Um, but then I can also use that same idea to download a file, which I have downloaded base64 file here. I, I'm showing you these things on purpose, right? So download file. And all I need to do is execute this one, call it actually, right? So img source and my file name. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna handle this click. This click event will, it, it, it creates the file here so I can console log that file. And in fact, while I'm doing this console logging, I might as well get rid of some of these other console logs that I just don't need anymore. Like the image, don't need that. Um, all right, and I also don't need to uh, console log the base64 loaded related stuff anymore either. Okay, so all I should have a console log is the file itself. So if I click on this, what it's gonna do is, it's going to give me the crop stuff, right? So the crop stuff's in here. If I click on download, it should rename it, but also give me a new file. So I hit download, and it looks like I got an error. Ah, yeah, a little spelling error. That's great. So this should be prevent default. Oops, sorry about that. So now it should work. Let's try it again. Crop. The download button is there. I hit download. And what do you know? We've got our preview file here. And we also have a file here. Um, so this is actually that same file. Literally the same file. It's just it's been changed. The file name is now previewfile.png versus the original one. So if I click on previewfile.png, of course, what does it do? It opens up the original file. No big deal there. Okay, so now, how is it that I download the, the, the new file, the cropped file? How do I actually download that? Well, that's where we come in here. Instead of image source being from the state, we're gonna do it from the canvas. So the canvas that we just used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say const, and we'll call it image data 64 instead, just, just to know that it's different than the image source, that's all. Um, of course, you know, after experience, you'll know that it's different, but we're just gonna grab that canvas, whatever the canvas is, and then just do to data URL, and it's gonna take the image itself, and then we wanna grab what the file extension is. So I'm just gonna, you know, swip, uh, swap these out and put that file extension here. Okay, so to data URL, it's gonna use that file extension to make sure that it is the correct file itself. And then now I have a new data item here. So image source down here, we can change, save all that, and let's try this again. So I click here and upload. I'm gonna upload a file, and we're gonna crop just the React, well, it's, it's a square, so I actually can't just crop whatever I want. I'll just do the logo, okay? So the logo is now in a square, and we have the preview here, I hit download, I open up the download, what do you know, there is my now cropped image. Um, of course, I actually don't have it going off the screen, right? So like it won't do that, it's only cropping inside of the image. So like it's not like Photoshop where I could, I could probably move it above and then you know, it auto fill and all that stuff. Like those are things that, that are just definitely getting way more advanced than, than most likely what you'll need, you know, cause, cause again, you're, you're probably gonna use this more for cropping someone's face out of something, not trying to make the their logo right in the center or something. I mean, you might do that, but that, that again, is just more advanced. Um, so now I can download it as many times as I want, right? 
It's pretty cool. Uh, and then here, obviously, if I hit download, it, you could also have that go upload, and then that would be sent to your back end in some form or fashion. Um, pretty cool, but, but we're not quite done yet. So this file name extension, I actually might wanna use this in other places. So what do we do here? Well, I actually wanna bring this into my state that would be here, right? So the state is actually where I wanna put this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and say image source extension or something like that, and then just grab it in here and you can still you can still use the result, but I'm just going to go ahead and do const my result equals to that. Okay, um, so now I have my image source extension down here, and base that off of this dot state instead of what I had it as with that file extension. Um, and of course, this is this also assumes that we actually have an image in general. So again. I'll just go ahead and say if um, image source, oops, since we've got that, let's go ahead and bring it up here. If image source, then I'll actually allow the download to even happen or the upload to even happen and all that. So I'm putting it in the actual click method itself, um, but I also probably wanna put it inside of the download method. I don't actually have to because the download method, it's right there, image source. Okay, so I'm not quite done yet. There is there is still one more thing that I want to do, uh, and just in case, and that is just sort of clearing all this stuff out. So if I go here um, and hit download, I, I probably want to clear everything out, and then you know my server would send back a response, and I could I could display the actual final uploaded image there. So to clear all this stuff out, um, I'm going to make a method called handle default clearing, or clear to default, handle clear to default, something like that. And again, we're gonna use an event, whoops, equal to the event and the arrow method. And we just wanna set our state uh, back to whatever it is. Now, the first thing is I wanna grab my canvas because I absolutely want to be able to set my canvas back. And all you do here is this, all right? So you just clear out whatever rectangles in there that clears out my canvas just fine. And then my state, so the two things that I need are image source and source this, so this dot set state and IMG source. I'm gonna set that to null again. And then um, my extension, I did not put it in my initial state. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that as well and put that also to null. Okay, so I can grab I can, well, I can pretty much grab all of these, right? And just set that to my initial state, just like that. And then handle, uh, just call it out like that. That will call it. Uh, it doesn't matter if we pass the event in this case. Um, yeah, so then the next thing would be the button and on click again equals to this dot and we'll just do clear button. Okay, um, I actually will pass the event and we'll just say if event, event dot prevent default. Okay, um, cool. So now I can actually clear out all this stuff as well. Uh, ooh, we're getting canvas is not defined. That's right, so this is, should be canvas just like that. Okay, um, so now let's go ahead and try it out just to clear everything out, I just click on clear, clears everything out, brings me back to that initial state. And if I download something, small part, I hit download, it also brings me back to that initial state, but yet that image is being cropped. Sweet, hopefully you guys like this. I think I think this is actually really pretty useful um, of a feature to have, to be able to, to drag and drop an image, crop it, do all of those things. So I'm actually gonna do one more video, something that I've been kind of hanging on to for a while, uh, which is just using a image upload field in lieu of the drag and drop drop zone. Stay with us, make sure you subscribe to get everything. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.